and relationships. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. That does actually look like me and my girlfriend. <laughs> Apparently, in Norfolk, the marriage guidance service is called Related. <laughs> My girlfriend says I'm not very romantic. The other day we were kissing on the sofa. She said, how about we take this into the bedroom? I said, OK, you get the other end. <laughs> when, uh, when she suggested we try playing doctors and nurses, I was really hoping for something sexier than being left in a corridor for two days. <laughs> My girlfriend and I are trying for a baby. Her mom's agreed to help out, just so I get hard. <laughs> She's going to see that on telly as well. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> they always say you'll find the love of your life when you're not really looking, which was true. But by then, I'd run her over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to persuade my girlfriend to sexually stimulate me with her key ring. She just keeps fobbing me off. So. <laughs> when I heard you could now be a sperm donor by post, I came in a jiffy. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a swingers club. The doorman goes, it's £15 to get in, or you can pay £20. That includes a meal. I paid £20. I went in. This oiled naked guy comes up to me and goes, hello, my name's Emil. <laughs> I once had a one-night stand and I didn't get an erection. That isn't cool. Luckily, the woman I was with was really understanding. She just said, don't worry, that used to happen to me. <laughs>